Hi children, welcome to the class. Today we will study uh, the continuation of major domains of earth, chapter 5, geography. Today's topics are atmosphere and biosphere. Children, we already know what is atmosphere. Atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth. Atmosphere is the thin layer of earth that surrounds the earth. It has, it provides us what air we breathe and it protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Atmosphere provides the air we breathe and it protects us from harmful rays of the sun. Now, uh, atmosphere is extending up to 16 kilometers in height. Now, atmosphere has uh, three, five layers, mainly five layers are there according to the composition and temperature we divide atmosphere into five layers. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Five layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now, when you look at uh, uh, atmosphere, you can see there are different type of gases present in the atmosphere. We all know oxygen very important for all the life to exist. It is present in the air, it is 21 percent is oxygen, then nitrogen it is around 78 percent. Nitrogen is very important for plants, then carbon dioxide, argon and others comprises of 1 percent. Uh, so, that is about the atmosphere composition of gases. Next one is the density of atmosphere. The density of atmosphere is, uh, you know, it is maximum at the sea level. The thickness of air, the, all the gases are maximum at the sea level. As we move upwards, what happens? The density decreases. That is why the climbers, those who are going to Himalayas, they feel what? They feel that uh, uneasiness and they carry oxygen cylinders along with them. So, uh, density of atmosphere is maximum at the sea level. The temperature also decreases as we move upwards. The temperature also is maximum at the sea level. As we move upwards, when you go to hill station, you can feel that cool. Yes. So, the, the uh, temperature decreases as we move upwards. Now, at atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth. It is uh, that uh, it moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. Moving air is called wind. Yes that we already studied from class 3. So, atmosphere has certain pressure which exerts on the earth. Uh, so, that is uh, high pressure areas, uh, air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. So, children take page number uh, 35, atmosphere. You have to underline the first point, the earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called atmosphere. Then it provides us with the air we breathe and protect us from the harmful rays of the sun. Uses of atmosphere, underline that. Now next point, the atmosphere extend up to 1600 kilometers. Five layers, underline, five layers, troposphere, strato, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now major composition of air, all the gases name underline, uh, 98 per, 78 percent is nitrogen oxygen 21 percent and all the other gases carbon dioxide argon uh, 1 percent by volume. Density underline density thickness of atmosphere is maximum at sea level page number 36 underline. Then uh, they have to carry with them oxygen cylinders uh, that you do not have to underline a question may come give reason question may come then you have to explain why it is so. The atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth that also underline. This varies from place to place as needed. Some areas experience high pressure and some areas low pressure. Moving air is called wind. Next topic is biosphere. Biosphere means the narrow zone in which the land, air and water interact with each other. Biosphere is the narrow zone in which land, air and water interact with each other. This is the area where life exists, where the life exists. There are several species of organism that you can find in biosphere that is from small size microbes to huge mammals everything is found in the biosphere. Now, biosphere has divided into three, uh, two mainly two areas are the plant kingdom and animal kingdom. The, uh, here you can see the major domains of earth. 
uh, that is hydrosphere, atmosphere and lithosphere they interact with each other in the biosphere. Now what causes the problem in biosphere you know we human beings when we cut the forest when deforestation occurs or when we pollute the air by more and more vehicles are on the road what happens we pollute the environment ok. Uh, so children here you have to underline uh, biosphere we need to underline page number 36 the biosphere is the narrow zone between uh, land water and air in contact then there are several species of organism that vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals underline in the next paragraph the organism in the biosphere may broadly be divided into plant kingdom and the animal kingdom underline the three domains of the earth the three domains are lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere interact with each other and affect each other in some way or other in this biosphere underline now earth surface may be changed due to now what are the reasons for changing of earth surface sometimes you can say natural calamities called tsunami they all change the surface of the earth underline that earth surface may be changed due to natural calamities like earthquake tsunami etc then discharge of waste material into lakes and rivers also cause pollution also cause pollution it damages the different forms of life that exist in biosphere underline children now emission from industries thermal power plants and vehicles pollute the air how we cause air pollution reasons industrial uh, emissions thermal power plants and vehicles pollute the air carbon dioxide is an important constituent of air when uh, 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 you can see that what happens if there is more and more carbon dioxide in the air it causes global warming that means temperature increases and it causes what global warming there is thus a need to limit the use of resources of the earth to maintain the balance of nature between the domains of lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere which we should know how to maintain a balance of all the spheres Thank you children, read the chapter very well, uh, we'll see you in the next class, thank you.